Yeah, let, let me know, Kick. We I've lowered the bit rate to 6,000. Maybe that's what it was. If not, then... Okay, that's definitely what it was then. Now, my other question would be, since I lowered the bit rate so much, I went from 9,500 to uh, 6,000. Is that making it look a lot worse for everyone? Poor Henry, he's so encumbered. You're definitely not supposed to be able to do this, really, by the way. The merchant store knows a Hungarian saber. That pick her back up. I hate that you lose your spear every time you do that. I want to keep a spear. Because I might be able to kill the horseman over here as well. I can try. The spear's a lot more damage, though, than that sword is. You know if that common saber is worth it. Now, the real danger is if I get if I get dismounted when I'm fighting, like, all the horsemen and stuff, I'm going to be so over-encumbered. That axe looks nice. That's That has a new texture on it. It's pretty cool. Your spear back up, Henry. Oh, why I can't just um like I want to pick these up. But I don't want to lose the spear too. It's annoying. It drops it every time. There's a mod that lets you just keep the spear in your inventory as a regular weapon, but uh, which kind of makes sense. I mean, you do that in the Middle Ages. I mean. They had typically a spear with them as well as their other weapons. Yo, Purtis, what's going on, man? Just got done killing the whole Kuman army. We avenged uh, our, our parents and saved Teresa. They are all dead. Yeah, sure. Get the bow. Pick up your spear again. This is not as difficult to pick things up as it used to be. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, how many pounds of stuff? 600, just 600 pounds. Eh, no big deal. Um, let's sort by armor. Ends here. I think I want to put the shishak on because it's gonna cover our face up and I don't really want to have that going on let's see anything else any gloves we can do we can do that sure there we go a light human helmet that will work there we go some ripped gloves that's fine Actually, less. So we're going to pass on that. And, uh, got any legs or anything here? These are a bit better. I don't see any actual legs or anything for these slots, though, over here. Nah. Okay, let's, um, repair stuff then. Oh, we can't repair any of this stuff, huh? It's all too far gone. Okay. What about um, blacksmith's kit? Yeah, all this stuff is too far gone. We can't repair it yet. Have to get more skill. Tailors or cobbler's stuff? Oh, this does give us a bit of a uh, helmet thing there, doesn't it? I don't know if I like that. What about the other one? There was another kind of helmet we could put on, too. This was the light cumin helmet. What about the uh, this one here? Equip that. Is it better? That's better. I'm okay with that. 
Yeah, I don't want to have a... I don't want to have that covering up my face. Now, can I go in here? I think you can. I think Teresa's gone at this point, but there is a chest you can unlock in here, I think. Yeah, very easy lockpick, so... May as well get the skill. Oh, it just says close. I can't actually open it. I can only close it. Oh, okay. I guess that's a no then. Yeah, no more than one spear. That's it. Just a single spear. Now, before we go, I'm going to save because I will try to fight the horseman as well, but I really doubt it's going to work out. So I'll give it a try. That'll be about it, though. Are we hungry? We could We could use some food. Use an apple and a carrot, maybe. Oh, we're over. We're too hung. We're ate too much. Oh well. All right, let's get another save in here after we slaughter the whole army. And he's gonna have a drink and some food after that battle. Yeah. There goes Henry, riding off with all the loot and scallops. Chase him down. He's got our loot. Shoot him. Yeah. All right, fellas. You want some of this? You want some? My girl like that boodush. Ah, get over there. Stab him. Oh, 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 oh. Right, that's right. Ah. Okay, let's get going here a bit. We lost all of our stamina yeah, there. Money. Ow. Yeah. Cops ain't yet. Oh, got knocked off. Okay, let's get on to let up. Oh, okay, we're dead. Yeah, that's probably that's probably not worth doing. Probably not worth it, guys. Trying to fight him there is probably not worth it. Let's just go back. Oh, well, we gave it the old college try. Let's just go to Talmberg then and loot the place. Absolutely, Kiko, you can. Yeah, you can loot all of them. You can, you can do this. You can kill them, but it's really difficult. Fish raw timer with your leg. There's a spot you can go to, apparently, that you can... Uh, like dismount inside of it and like a shack somewhere that you can dismount inside of and they'll just like stand there and you can just kill them. But um, I don't know about all that. The hell? Oh, I'm knocked yeah. off. Okay. Get up, Henry. Get up. Oh. Right in the face. Now, it, see, it takes so much to kill him. Nah, we're not going to try. We're just going to run. I know I said that last time and we didn't do it, but yeah, we're just going to run. It's fine. There's no need to try and kill all these guys. We're just going to run to Townburg and then we'll loot everything there. These guys do not have anything worth taking anyway, really. They're not that well geared, so... I just don't think it's worth it. Can I skip this? Uh, yeah. That, so, oh wait! Yeah, yeah. Left after the riding part here. Run, Olena! Why are you not running? 
hitting shift twice. Are you actually sprinting? It's kind of slow for a sprint. Yeah, you can technically kill everyone you see here, and they all have full loot, full inventory. It's just left. very, very difficult. Almo gets to the left along the stream. Run, you dumb bastard! Run for your life! Flee to Talmberg! Flee! I just killed him. Flee! This is as fast as we can go. They're gonna start shooting at me here soon. Weave and dodge, Elena. Okay, we gotta go slow for a bit. You have like no choice because your horse can't keep up. Dodge, Olena, dodge. Weave and dodge. Run, you dumb bastards, run. They tore scallops. All those people that uh, they could be killing and they're following me for some reason. I guess because I have a horse, they know I can get there faster and warn Tomberg. There we go. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. 
If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. All right, time to loot everything in Townburg. Actually, first we have to go and get some food and stuff, and then some rest, and then uh, deposit our stuff somewhere. I go talk to Sir Robard, which is downstairs. That's right, get out of my way, Lynch. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horses. You're that lad from Scalitz. I can't understand why he'd waste there. his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Put the weapon away. Put the weapon away. The That's guard, forbidden. You'll here. be in trouble. Oh, um. I, oh, that's why. Watch it. You can't draw your weapon here. You bet. Did I drop it. There it is. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. It's dropped, Robard. It's dropped. There it is. We we good now? Do I go through here? Oh, there we go. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. 
Eat what up is, now. like sticking out of your his, incapable hands, so his shirt there. I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. That bit of blue there. Looks odd. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Hmm, I don't know. Oh well. Henry is hungry. Henry is still hungry. They really made this a lot easier to pick up stuff. It used to be a real pain to like get the E to show up. They've improved that quite a lot, it looks like. Yeah, we're taking everything because Henry is super hungry. I think, would you not, like, just push the arrow through the other side? Which, I mean, is awful. I mean, there's instances where you can't do that, but... Wouldn't that be the easier solution? Okay, now we're good. And now we're sleepy. And very, very over encumbered. Mm. So we'll sleep, then we'll do the whole Lady Stephanie thing, and then we'll loot the whole castle. We'll stash all of our stuff and loot everything. Actually. Oh, you know, we've got, like, so much stuff on right now. It's, there's no way... Oh, yeah, he's going to get pissed off. He's going to go shut the door, isn't he? And be like, hmm, what was over here? I heard something. Our uh, charisma right now, it's pretty bad because we're, um... Maybe we should wash before we go to bed so we can use speech options on Stephanie. I'm gonna take off most of the stuff, though. Doesn't actually help our charisma, does it? Um... Okay. Does any of this stuff us charisma that removes it that removes it oh that that gives us charisma that on that's like it isn't it boots don't hurt i guess but um Oh, there we go. That helps out as well. Seven charisma. Okay. Let's go wash ourselves then as well. I think there's a trough over here. Probably some animals. That should help out a little bit with our charisma. We're talking to Stephanie later on. Yeah, here we go. What about now? I guess not that much though. Oh well, it's fine. Um, let's look at our character, too. What did we get from all that? We got some strength. Nice. We can get Clinchmaster, both Clinchmaster and Mule. Those are essential perks, in my opinion. And uh, this is all old stuff we put up as far as that goes. Vitality, we can get one thing. Thick Blade's not bad, actually. Um... Yeah, you don't bleed as much, so yeah, we'll take that. That's pretty good. Speech is quite bad. Drinking, we have two. I don't have anything I can take in that yet, though. Horsemanship, yeah, not anything here as well. Nothing yet. Lock picking, still nothing. 
Level up for that. Maintenance? No, we can't do a fragrance or anything yet. Stealth. Um, still nothing. This is level six, level five. Next level of stealth. Let me get something there. Okay, that's fine. Go to bed. Nope, no mod smoke. You just plain it vanilla as is. I guess I could try like an ENB. That'd be about all I'd do though. It's just an ENB maybe. Just for improved graphics since I can actually handle it now. Get there because Stephanie comes and bothers us two hours into our sleep. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. And take our boots off. Don't tell Sir Robard. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My it's lady. really good now, Smokey. They fixed a lot of the problems. Thank you. They really did a good job. You really shouldn't. You could Still have Still optimized like crap, but yeah. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about so anything. So awkward, it's Henry. It's getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like Where any other. Where are you other. at, Henry? Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. Why are you over there, Henry? I promised Henry? father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. All right, uh, let's see. I did the nobility option, sure. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say... But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, let's see. Horde, sure. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Uh... Good mom and dad, yeah, sure. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, 
saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. So not all the bugs have been I ran fixed to the castle yet, like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Uh, I need a horse, yeah. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh, we have to do the dream sequence. That's oh, terrible. God, I hate the dream sequence. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years? And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. 
Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. So Smokey asked about, is it still, is the power creep still there? So they got rid of that chest. Uh, you don't get that until the very end of the game after things like over pretty much. So uh, no, you don't get that early on. Um, they also made enemy AI a lot smarter about like fighting together as a group. So if you get overwhelmed by lots of enemies, you can die a lot easier. But I still think uh, if you're a good player, you can get around those things. But it is more challenging than it was. Bad thing about this is I always Wake forget. Up. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> what is the? What's happening? Oh wait. Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Don't have a dream sequence yet. I guess it's later on. Okay, it's time to loot everything. Um, went over here. Do I have a save in here? Can I load from, or would I be loading from? In Scalettes. Uh, probably want to save again before I do anything else here. And look, everything is now ours. It's gone from being stolen to just being ours. We're going to take everything off as well. Take off all the equipment, except for the, the shoes, I guess. And, um... Yeah, only two noise. That's good. That's good. All right, we're going to save as well. May as well get all the experience we can here. Cool here, but they're sleeping, I think. Okay. Y'all saw nothing. Now, we do need to get um, a place to store all of our stuff, which I think this might work over here. This, no, this is not it. One of these has a chest in it. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there's a chest over here we can store our stuff in for now. But we aren't so over encumbered. Okay, so we're going to um, put everything in here. Just move all. And um, all this too, move all. Actually, just go over here and then inventory all, move all. Okay, and then go to found and we want... Uh, but our shoes, or any shoes, would do. And then we want some uh, alcohol as well. And we want our lockpicks. That should be good. Yeah, put on your shoes. Then uh, your torch as well, because you're going to need that. Oh, wait, I need a torch. It'd be hard to see if I don't have that. 
for a weapon one torch okay all right henry time to take everything while they're all distracted I don't know that I'll actually take all this stuff. We'll take a look, but um, unnecessary to just take all this stuff. Probably not really necessary. I want the lock picking skill though. Head of myself. Stuff is not even really worth it. Yeah, whatever, just take it all. We're gonna be over encumbered, so it's not really gonna matter. Sausage is good, that's uh It's good for how much it weighs anyway. on that Eat cabbages oh goblet uh yeah we'll take that Okay, so it's there. There is a chest, like, it's right beside this guy's head, man. Like, I'll try. Yeah, okay. Just robbed everyone's clothes while they're sleeping. This guy's stuff, why not? We're gonna steal everything, then we're gonna go to the Inn at Townberg and uh, stash it in the chest there. And then we'll have it for later on. There, I think we're good. Nice, our lock picking. That guy had some nice stuff, some expensive stuff. And here is, I think, Sir Robard's room, which has really good armor. Let's try a different one. Try it again. Nice, good stuff. Bunch of lock picks too. Ah, crap. Actually failed. Let's not do that one then. I could just drink some, you know what, let's just drink some stuff, it'll make it a lot easier. Got a lock picking skill too. 
Yeah, the Milanese cuirass is really nice. Uh, what's our lock pick? Can we do another level up here on lock picking? Do another. No, we don't have a perk for it. Okay. Well, on this level. That Milanese Curious is really nice. We'll use that for quite a long time to come. Come on. This torch as well, well. They do get used up over time. Let's see here, my lady. Oh yeah, do I have another stealth level yet? Let me see here, stealth. Yes, I can do crouching chameleon, right? No, I'm still not high enough for it, really? Um, you know, I don't think chameleon's worth it yet. Don't, don't look, my lady. Turn your head away. Good. There we go. He's still sleeping, it's all good. On we go. In here, I don't think. Nope. Some nice pauldrons and stuff there as well. like a bunch of Sir Radzig's uh, like whatever it's called, the shoulder thing. Whoa, Henry. Stifle your burps, Henry. You're being sneaky. Stop it, Henry. It'd be sneaky. All right, and this goes, uh, is this go to a tower? My torch out. Yeah, it does go to a tower, I think. Or maybe, I think it does. Bit worried of going down here because last time I think I ended up uh, stuck down there. God, be quiet, Henry! Stop the burping. Might be a guard up here. Okay. Nice. Now we should have Chameleon, I think. We need this stuff later on. No, put the sword away. Torch, please. Torch, go away. Okay, use ladder. Did he just fart? I think he just farted too.
Is there a guard up here? There is sometimes. Guess not. Just the one. Guess that's all. I did earlier, Tulio. I um, I let people, I like streamed on YouTube for a little bit to let people know. This one go all the way down. Let me, you know what? I'll try it. We'll see if it works now. I'm sure they fixed it by now, right? Go to the bottom level here. Is there anything actually down there, though? Be the question, I guess. Hey, Tulio, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, there's barrels, but they have nothing in them. Not worth it. Also, I haven't mentioned it uh, for a while, so if you guys don't know, today Kingdom Come Deliverance is on sale. 41% off. Uh, that is from... Chrono.gg, which is a company that sells one game exclusively on their website per day at a very, very big discount. And they've partnered with me as well, so um, if you buy from them today, uh, I will actually get a portion of the sale, and it's much appreciated. So if uh, you're interested in the game, I'd say definitely go and check it out. The link is down below in uh, the, the section right next to like the about me and stuff there's a link for it you could see it very easily there I'm supposed to be linked on their site as well although I'm not really sure if I am because I'm not seeing like a big a big boost in views or anything like uh, other people have gotten from them so maybe they have not linked my channel properly yet I'm not sure alright so there's that um, we can go to this tower as well and loot this too because why not Awesome, absolute. Appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy it. I will say that you do have to have a pretty nice computer. Hello, guard. Hmm. I don't know about this, man. Not quite sure if it's worth the steal from right in front of that guard. He's up here, though. They've also got the DLCs and stuff on sale, too. What we can do up here... I I don't know if I want to try this or not. It's really not worth it, this deal from this one chest. Although the skill, the lockpicking skill is kind of nice. Man, oh man, though, that's a lot of risk. Can I do Crouching Chameleon yet? Uh, let me see. Stealth skill, crouch chameleon. Yes, and stealth kill as well. I could kill this guy. Could stealth kill him. You have a dagger? No, I don't have my dagger with me. I do want to take that, though, for sure. Right, Crouch Chameleon's on. You know what? Master Thief. He heard nothing. Okay. 
anything down here? Like, no. Nothing to see here, my good sir. This is a dead end, isn't it? Or no, you can go all the way around. Like, you can go up, can't you? No, this is a dead end. Can't go over here. Okay, that's fine. Let's go deposit our ill-gotten gains. Walk so damn slow. We're gonna have to like use Olena to get around after this because we're gonna be so over encumbered. Damn, the game looks good though. I wish I was playing it on my regular miter. Wish it wasn't broken. There's stuff in here. We're going to just do move all, I think. take back the stuff we need. Want that. Uh, let's do a dagger. Can't drop Seradzic Sword. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll kill somebody. I guess we could. Where's our dagger at? Is that under other? I would have assumed it's under weapons. No, there it is. And uh, just some boots. Any boots? Please. On a torch, too. Got a, got a torch. Now, I think it'll be okay if we leave it here, but I'm not 100% sure. On. Okay, good. On the torch, too. Uh, what else is there around here? I think that's it. Pretty sure that's all. Now, I'm not sure if I actually need to, um, I'm not going to go up to the server yet. We're going to sneak over here and, uh, Who's that? okay, nobody's here. You see me? I think I'm all right. We have a hangover. Oh, I forgot. I forgot alcohol. Oh, well, I think we can we can do this anyway. Yeah, it's very easy. Chew. These are really difficult to actually get the option to loot them. Hey, Ashley, it has been a while since Twitch, yeah. Oh, can I do this without... I can. Nice. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Nobody came. We're fine. saw an option to pick something up. Where the hell is it? Eh. Oh. That's just bugged or something. Okay. 
Whatever, I don't care that much about that stuff. Ladder, Rob. I think the Rob. Yeah, it's for the chest. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, I'm taking everything in uh, Tomberg. Shield, come on. Henry's a kleptomaniac. Just, he can't help himself. He just has to pick up everything. Needle is a decent weapon, too, I think. Would that say something, Blade? Liable blade? It's not bad. Requires too much agility, though. So does this. The only thing he can really use right now is um, Sir Radzig's sword. Fall down. get a halberd out of here? I don't think I can. No, you cannot. Okay. Alright, um... We're actually supposed to go over here. Not this way, but we're supposed to go over here. My, uh, my question would be, do I need to stash... Do I need to go and get all my stuff? Or am I good stashing it over there? Probably should go and get it, to be honest. You know what? Let's go back. Go back this way. Go pick up all of our stuff. And uh, then we'll go talk to Sorobard after... We're going to have to ride Olena over there. Because we're so over-encumbered. Ride it up the battlements. And then... Uh, we got to be good. Oh, you have the flu? I'm sorry. That sucks. Let's see here, fellas. Soon we'll be able to stash everything in our chest over in Talmberg and we'll finally be done with like the intro section. All right, take it all. Only over encumbered by, um, ah, uh, this is 112. Pretty sure that's wrong because we're definitely carrying more than 112 worth of stuff here. Carrying like several thousand worth. I think I've just like totally broken this at this point. The weight thing does not go that high. Elena. Are you no come? I'm gonna save here as well because I don't want to do this all over again. That would really suck. Use a save your schnapps to get a save here. Pardon me, gents. The best thing would be to join forces. Listen up! If it's Sigurd's men and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Hey, you men down there! Tell the people outside the walls to prepare.
Oh, what? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divis sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did you the said that. See? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway... We'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Good luck to you. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antic! What a relief! Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Hopefully my horse is still here, otherwise it's going to be a very, very long walk back. I think we have to Mad, stand guard, Tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Farewell. 
Man, poor Henry. He's got a busted leg. Just lost his mom and dad, and now Soro Bard's like, yeah, go keep watching the battlements. Man, screw that. Okay, Lenny's still here. Good. Have to actually uh, find the guy and talk to him. The right guard, or whatever. You. Not God this one. Wandering go. around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay. So is that all just till five and then we're good, I think? I think we did wait until morning, didn't we? Can I wait longer? Oh, okay. That's all I need to do. Everyone to the daily battle. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! Out of the way, people. Horse coming through. There are so many, I forgot, there are so many cinematics. There's so much story in the beginning of this. I mean, in general, this has a lot of story. self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> The bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik, of which you speak, is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? 
Am I to inform the king then that the Razzi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. There are so many good screenshots in those uh, those awesome cinematics. Okay, so we gotta go and bury the loved ones and stuff. God, don't don't hurt yourself, Henry. You are carrying like ten thousand pounds on your back. Um, where is Olena? She would have stopped over the here, I think. He brought to this land. We'll have no peace till the afterlife. We've gotten everything here we want, pretty much, I think. Um, there are a couple of things. I don't think the trader will, will sell. I don't think he'll buy our stolen goods, though. There are a couple of things that I um, wouldn't mind buying from him. The save potions, but honestly, it's fine. I'll try selling what I can. Have you seen them foreign soldiers? The crow men? Aye, them crow men. With them horrible visors on their helmets. I seen them all right. And you know what I heard from the merchant? You heard I have to go ask Sir Divish if we can go bury our parents to, or um, Sir Obard if we can go bury our parents. He's gonna say no. No, you can convince him, I don't think. God be with you. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Farewell. So it's a no, but we can go talk to Lady Stephanie, and we can disguise ourselves, and then we can sneak out of the castle. Gives us money, too. Is our horse over here? Yep, Elena's right over here. Good. You can just jump off of here, too, but... Um, I'd rather not. I want to be able to get to the Talmberg Inn and stash my stuff there. Which means we have to go talk to Lady Stephanie and see if she can help us out. It also means a very slow walk up here. It should be either down here at the table or the next level at the table, I think. not her. She's going to be upstairs then, probably.
It's funny, she actually tells you you have to go steal armor, though. Oh, crap, where is she at? Not it? Maybe up in her room, I guess? Oh, no, I know where she's at. She's probably praying in a church. crazy that I get, like, full FPS now. Really, she's not here either. But even, like, um, during that sequence where there's all those people there, usually that's what, that what, that's what killed my FPS before, was all the people being there. Maybe it was my CPU that was having issues. All better now, though. Max settings and it's full 60 FPS, no problems. Oh, she's over here. Well, okay. Well, I'm, I have to talk to her, so... The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Uh, yeah, we'll try a duty. My lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? My dear boy, you'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial? My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... But you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Need some money, though. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. And, uh... And where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Hey, Thank good. you, my lady. I must go now. God bless. Okay, so that should be everything. Let's get equipped. Look like a soldier here. That's cumin. We probably don't want that. Oh, wait, no, we don't, we don't want to put that on. We'll put this on and um, that. Well, I guess we can put this on. It's a lot of armor. I guess we have to wear one of these so that... Um, I mean, it's not, it's not a Townberg piece, so... This is actually better. For why I was telling me the other stuff was better. Oh, well, whatever. Add on. It might not work, though, unless I'm... I don't think there are any things that we stole from Tomberg that cover the face, though, so... Oh, wait, that that Shishak, that's actually no good. We want something that covers the face completely. So maybe the ornamental helmet? That might work.
That's what we need some legs as well. That couldn't hurt. What else? Uh, is that it? Ants, right? Should be all I would think. I'm not sure if we actually look like a, a, a soldier from here, though. Well, maybe if I put a shield on. Let's try that. Let's put on Holmberg shield. That's all it will take. My lady. God be with you. I'm sorry. Do I know you? <laughs> it's me, my lady. Henry. I didn't recognize you at all. I still think you should stay here in the safety of the castle, Henry. But I see your heart is drawing you away from here. God go with you. Okay, let's give it a shot then. We gotta get the inn, buy a room, stash our stuff, then we'll be not over encumbered anymore. Then we can go and bury our parents, then the actual game starts. Very long intro. You can't just jump down too, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna go out. Legitimately, that way uh, I can get the inn. God be with you. Uh, let's see. I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our colors. I'm Sir Robar's messenger. He's sending me to Ujits to find out if Sigismund's army has been giving them trouble. I might believe you if I knew who you were. Who the hell are you? Um. Uh. You know who I am. I have to get out to take care of my parents. Everyone will understand why you let me go. It's the Christian thing to do. Please. Do you think I'm a total idiot? Oh, crap. My master will be furious if I let you out. And when Captain Robard isn't happy, he makes damn sure nobody else is either. Ah, oh, damn it. On the other hand, you've dressed up so nicely, and it's a shame to let it go to waste. The old man won't like it, but I'll act stupid and I won't get worse than a bollocking. If you make it worth my while, of course. We gotta bribe him. That's fine. Now you're speaking my language. Good luck, then. Try not to get yourself killed. Good luck to you. Okay, gotta get to the inn, which is, uh, gotta avoid guards, too. Yeah! Nothing to see here. So many guards. All right, where am I at exactly? Doesn't tell you where the inn is either. I guess because we haven't explored this area yet. Oh, that's that's Scalas. No wonder. Yeah. So the inn. We want the inn. Um. Or activity giver. That's going to be the inn. Is over here then. I think we're going the right way. Doesn't show where you are on the map.
Uh, maybe we've gone too far, though. Definitely not right. Yeah. I just don't want to end up um, being questioned by guards. It's not the right spot, though. Not the right area. Get stuck. That's it. Here we go. This is the end. Well, it is, but it's not the right spot exactly. Jump over this. There we go. Good health, dear. Can I sleep here? Aye, oh, there's room here. For how long? Just the one night. No problem, but you pay in advance. Here you go. You like it here? Like sleeping on a cloud it is. Okay. Now we can just go and dump our stuff off in the chest and we'll be all set. Even sleep for a free save if we want. Right, here we go. Get the, the gambeson as well. It's a nice chest piece or nice uh, under armor. Let's see. Probably will not be able to carry all this stuff, honestly. Like, I don't think I'll be able to carry my full armor. Maybe a bit close. Wait. Okay, so we're going to move everything that's not equipped, basically. I'll really need a shield. To be honest, I doubt it. But if if I have the room, I'll take it. But it is nine weight. That's quite a bit. These were higher armor old plate pauldrons. I'll check that in a second. Let me see. I guess they're just the same zone. Compared to what we're wearing. Oh, we have two of them. How do we have two? That's odd. Well, whatever. Quite a lot. Got plenty of food and stuff out there. All these either. All these either. Couple of wine, couple of pretzels. These and apples should be plenty. 
Receive one of each kit as well. Odd that cobs weather cobwebs are worth money. I don't understand that. Yeah, we're still a tad bit over on weight. We don't need all charcoal. Get the charcoal out of there. That's pretty close. We're almost there. Of course, I can't carry anything with me. I guess we'll drop off the shield. I don't, I don't need the shield. Yeah, it's fine. We're not going to use the shield. I don't typically use a shield once I get the repost, but uh, for now... Yeah, nice to have it for now, but it's not a big deal. All right, let's get a uh, save in here, get a sleep in. Just for like an hour. All right, got our freeze save in. All good to go. Uh, do we want a torch? Eh, I don't think I need a torch for this area. It doesn't get to nighttime ever, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Finally not encumbered anymore. That chest does go with you to a tie. Any, any innkeeper's chest, you can store stuff there. Alright, so now we're going to go uh, to the edge of the world. I think we want to go to the east over here. I believe that's east. Yeah. Or is this the wrong way? Yeah. I guess the wrong way. We want to go west, not east. Okay, wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should get it if you if you're interested in it. Like, it's a really good game, and if you've got the hardware for it, it's a really beautiful game too. It's just, man, my old PC, the old 980 Ti, is not that old. And my i5 6600K, that was just not enough yeah. to run this game very well. But now it runs like a dream. No issues at all. We get to the uh, little camp over here. We'll have to dismount because that's when... That's when it, like, despawns Olena. This should be good. Let's mount here and leave you here. We can come back here later on. That's like they've already gone. Time to kick some ass, Henry.
I'm not gonna bar looting these guys. They're just not worth it. It's like one or two Groshen per. It's gonna go over the main town. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are yeah. you? <laughs> if you're tired of life, buddy. None of this stuff is really all that valuable. It's rather heavy. Uh, not bother with it. I've got a horse. Let's see, we need to go towards the town. Is I go this way? Do I go this way? Does it matter? It's the right way. Here's the, here's the charcoal burners. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. What did these poor souls ever do to them? Where are we at? Are we over here? I think so we want to go up the... No, we want to go... We want to go around this way. I think that's where we are. Hoping for more bandits and stuff. Yeah, this is actually blocked off, if I remember correctly. I don't think you can actually get up here. Got to go around. You can go in these buildings and stuff. There's just nothing here, really. They've already taken everything of Yeah, actually, if you're interested, you can buy this game right now for 41% off, so. Worth doing, I think. I don't know how the Risen 5 compares to, uh, you know, like other CPUs and stuff. I'm more of an Intel guy myself. So much running in this quest. Wish there were people to fight here. There's uh, Teresa's house. But you can get in here. Um, there's no real point that I know of to get in here, though. It's open now. There might be a chest around somewhere. I don't see anything though. Already been looted.
Just always thought it was kind of silly you have to run all this damn way. Could be like more bandits and stuff along the road for you to kill. Henry is hungry. Yeah, front gate should be over here. This I hope. I hope I haven't gone the wrong way or something. Uh, is this final leader of have, have I gone like the long way around and I'm on the back side now? That would really suck. I think you actually have to go. You know what I think? I think I went around this way. I was supposed to go this way. And that's why it's taking so damn long. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I definitely went the long way around. There's a sword you can pick up over here, too. I don't really have the agility for it, but, um, not bad. Hey, he didn't run like me. The guy with the sword in his hand. Yeah, speaking of that sword, uh, where is it? There it is. Some uh, of the Deutsches guys used to buy a sign he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away, didn't abandon them like me. Or Bianca. Why did you do it to me, Father? You leave me. Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him.
But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Mishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's thing? Uh, and isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now I've got to take care of myself. I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. I'll chop you to pieces, you rat! Ah! 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 Ted let him over and over again, Henry. There you go. That's right. Easy there, boy. You know me. You're a good master. Lynch master. So we chastise him for looting the guy, and then we're going to loot him anyway. We're over encumbered. Uh, eat an apple, Henry. What am I over encumbered by? Not very much. One apple should do it.
took me like half an hour to find where to, where to bury them at the first time. It's like, I don't know, the patch of ground just was not, was not letting me do it for some reason. This is a good place. You're gonna like it here. Yeah, see right now it's like fine. It's a whole big area here. Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? You're a strong lad, Getting Henry. Some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Rudd! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Really? I hit him and he just didn't care. Okay. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Games are over. Charge! Disperse this rebel! Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs>
Well, so that was very odd that like it's like a four hour long intro and then you get the whole, you know, Deep Silver Presents by War Horror Studios, all that good stuff. Yeah, exactly, Tulio. Like that's that's what my thoughts exactly like. Holy crap. The long intro. And now we can do the crappy dream sequence. Oh, great. It, I think it bugged out last time because it just was not working properly. Helped away. Dumb dream sequences, the bane of my existence. Never know where the hell I'm supposed to go. That really is just like scratching the surface of this game, though. Like, there. It is quite a long campaign. It's really impressive what they managed to do. Oh, did we end it? Are we done? Do you need some Thank help? Thank God. The worst dream se sequence by far was uh, Mass Effect 3. That was the worst one. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? 
We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. I never actually finished Mass Effect 3, but yeah, they were you. a lot How's crazy. the invalid today? I uh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Fine. But right now, I have more important things to do. That's all you have to say? After everything we've done for you? Well, do as you see fit. Okay. Food. Probably more food, to be honest. Uh, let me see. I don't think that gives you any nourishment at all. Eating from a pot, or eating from a pot doesn't give you any nourishment. And we brought some food with us, although if it's two weeks old, is it going to be all spoiled? Apparently not. Let's do the worst stuff first, then eat that up. Used. Okay, we're good. And uh, we gotta get some armor and stuff as well. We gotta re-equip ourselves.
We gotta go get uh, Olena to some point. Uh, it's gonna be a pain. You know what? I'm just gonna. Such a pain in the butt to re-equip yourself. Okay, let's just take all. I'm gonna put on the best stuff, so. Just sort by that and then equip it as we go here. Not stolen. I guess I'll. For, some, for whatever reason, a lot of the stuff loses its stolen status over time. Which is good. I don't think this one actually. No, it does cover your face. Do something else for a helmet then if I can find something. I don't really want to have something covering my face. Maybe just a common bassinet would be good enough. It's probably fine. This stuff is a loss. Oh, go. Come on, riding boots, sure. Any better ones? 97, this is 12, 12, and 4. Actually, better. I'm not sure why it's lower. Odd. Uh, raise, I guess. Get better than that, though. Yeah, use the brown hose. It's fine. That about all, then? I haven't put any rings on or anything. A uh, ring would be good for more charisma. I guess... Yeah, because it doesn't give you one charisma anymore. Oh, well, we'll wear it anyway. In her memory, we shall wear it. I guess. All right, there's the armor taken care of. Um, I didn't take all the weapons yet. Okay, let's open this. Let's dump off all the armor we're not wearing. Sort by unequipped and just keep dumping it in. Good thing is I only have to do this once through everything but it does take a while wait yeah it's fine so much stuff to sell oh crap what did I just do I just dumped everything in there god damn it uh was holding down my enter button on accident. Just take everything. All right. Do it again. I'm like only stopping when I see blue on the armors, basically. Use that. All right, guys, we'll be done with this shortly. This takes forever to sort your crap and get the right stuff on whenever you first wake up. Yeah, that will do. Common bassinet will do. It's fine. And uh, leg stuff now. What the nobles boots, I think, because I can actually repair those they're in decent enough shape. They go below like 80%. You can't repair them yourself, which sucks. Okay, and then uh, I don't have anything for the leg slot, I guess. I thought I did. Apparently not, though. Okay, and then just... Um, Ring, we gotta be good. Okay, and then weapons. Um, 
fight damage. I think needle is probably the best thing we can get right now because of the uh, stats on it. Doesn't require well, it requires six, ten. That's something we can actually use. Shard would be decent. That's probably fine. Okay, we'll use shard then. That was anything better. No, pass on the shield for now. We'll take a torch as well. And uh, bow and arrow, I'm going to pass on that too because we have the room for it. Everything else can go in, I think, except for some food. Okay, don't screw up this time. Take forever. By unequip. Go. Yeah, we'll just do weapons here and stuff. We can just spam through this really quick. Actually, want that dagger. I dropped my. No, I didn't drop my weapon yet. And again, do unequipped. A save after this as well, because my god, so much work. I will sell literally everything, though. There's actually a nice sword you can buy early on, since you can't get the uh, overpowered one. Although I think the one you can steal in the castle might be a bit better. Sure. Okay, and again, we're going to sort this by condition. And we'll use up the... Um, use up the stuff that's going to rot away first. Be fine actually. Plenty of food for us, but we still have what on us? Oh, charcoal. Healer kit, get that, get the books out. I don't want the small ones, I want the radios. Okay, we have an armorer's kit, we have a cobbler's kit, uh, tailor's kit, blacksmith's kit. That's all we need, I think. And we're actually, yeah, we're at 93 weight. That's fine, that's... Okay, we're fine with that. Just save in, my god, that took so long. Jesus much sorting stuff. All right, uh, let me get one more, save your schnapps here, maybe two. Okay, we're good as far as food goes, right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. All right, we are all set. Go talk to the miller and talk about our debt that we owe to him. Hey, youngster, come here. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still... That is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. 
They might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Take care now. Give us some booze to make the uh, the shoveling easier. All right, where is a spade at? Uh, is it around back somewhere? I can't really remember. Ah, there it is. Now we are over encumbered, though. Great. Can I uh, mend anything here? Nothing there. What about? I'll make sure we repair stuff as much as we can. I have a bunch of tailor kits on me. I should drop some of these then. As I still had three of those on me. I dropped those off. We ought to be just barely underweight. Why is it... Um, oh, wrong one. That's why. Okay. Just, just barely. We have 0.1 weight. Just enough for that ring, and that's going to be about it. Now, we got to go and get our horse, and man, that's going to suck. Let me tell you, because we are in... Oh my god, we're all the way down here. And uh, if we want our horse, our horse is... Oh man, Olena is all the way up in Scouts. We can't fast travel anymore in hardcore mode, so... Or over in Tomberg is where our horse is. So we have to run all the way down here up to here like across the entire map basically to get our horse if we want it Ooh, that sucks um 
Might be better off just buy a damn horse. Neuhoff or something. I don't know if I'll be able to make enough coin for that, though. It is rough, though. And running all the way over there is going to suck really bad. Uh, let's go and talk to Sir Radzig and stuff. Am I really still over encumbered? I had that change. It used to be 98.1. Now it's less. Good man. No, we have 20 pretzels. I have 20 pretzels on me. I don't need pre 20 pretzels. That's crazy. Those pretzels down. It's neat that they had pretzels back in the medieval ages, though. I didn't realize that. In fact, yeah, like, put a bunch of this stuff away. Oh, yeah, we got all the smoked sausage. Yeah, put the sausages back. Oh. Oh, this, I'm taking stuff. Damn it. God damn, I did it again. Sorry, guys. Just didn't pick everything up. Just drop everything in there except for like one or two things, man. There. That should be plenty. Okay, we can run now. Good. So we have to go up and get our gear repaired. And um, I would sell stuff, but man, it's going to take way too long to carry stuff up there. Go talk to Sir Radzig and get that quest going. I'm not super concerned about doing the quest for Miller Peshek right now. We can always just pay it off if we need to. But he'll wait like forever for this quest. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we do have to go up to Ratai and talk to Sir Radzig and uh, get started in that quest, the main quest. I wouldn't mind repairing my stuff either. And I guess we have to run up and get our horse because I, I can't really carry stuff around if I don't have a horse, you know? I'll like run around over encumbered, no problem, but uh, I need a horse, you know? Are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. I hate how, how quickly your armor degrades and looks like crap. Wait, it's the lower castle, not the upper one. Actually over here. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. 
They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. At least they stop, like, getting outraged when you run into them because you're really... What the hell are you doing, lady? What the hell kind of walk is that? You really can't avoid but run into them. This is not it. Up one more level, I guess. Out of the way, lady. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Ah, uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. 
If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. I always think uh, Bernard looks so weird without his helmet on. So so used to him calling me a fucker and a cunt whenever I'm dueling him. I suppose if I hit X, Elena will just show up. Yeah, not not so much. There's also the horse you can get by the bandit camp, but uh, that's quite a ways away too. All right, so we gotta go. What was the last again? Um, so what we need to do is go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Now I'm not sure if he'll be there today, but we'll try. Also, should uh, go and get some stuff repaired, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'll wait on that. I'd like to repair it so then I can start repairing it myself for better maintenance skills. Speaking of which, I do have some more skills level up here. Let's see. Maintenance, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And fragrance is not bad either. These are all actually quite good. These are all, like, really... 
I will never use any of these things. Like, you can literally just skip all these combos. They're, they're just kind of worthless, to be honest. I hate to say it, but they're really no good. Here we go. We actually have some decent ones now. Um... It's not bad, but I don't plan on going to jail anytime soon. Uh, this has no downsides at all. It increases the time you can do without sleep, so I think we'll go with that. That's pretty good. Zero downsides is always a good way to go. Nope, no mods, Arendosk. Just plain it vanilla. I have all the DLC, though. Yeah, we are running on... I guess it's not ultra. It, it would be, like, very high settings. God, it runs so good. I'm just so happy with the new setup, new hardware. Uh, this area was so laggy, and that was on, like, lower settings. I could barely get, like, 30 FPS here before with a 980 Ti. Just did not, did not work. With a 2080 Ti, however, pretty much smokes it. Has no problem at all. So we're going to go and do our training, and then we have to go and talk to, um, I think, I think Bernard will teach us everything, actually. I'm not sure if he'll show up here, though. I might have to go back down and wait a day before he shows up. He might be here, though. Our shadow running. I could even probably install an ENB if I wanted to. Yeah, if Bernard is up here, we'll do some training and then we'll go to bed for the night probably. And then uh, I guess we'll start the main quest. Go and patrol a town with uh, Nightingale. Need to do some thieving as well to get ourselves a decent sword. Here, Bernard, are you gone? I think you're gone. It wouldn't actually make sense for him to be here, but still, it's, you know, I tell you to go here. I was hoping he'd be here. Maybe if I wait for, like, an hour. It's late at night, though. He's probably just already gone to bed. Yeah, he's just gone. He'll be here the next day, though. All right, so that's fine. Okay, is that him? Are you leaving right now, Sir Bernard? You're walking with a certain swagger like you might be. Yeah, you are. Good day to you. What do you need? Training. I'm here for training. There's nothing I can do for you here. Come when I'm at the combat arena. Damn Very it. well, sir. Gotta wait next day. I'll be okay. With you. Fine. Let's, uh, let's do some stealing then. We gotta take off our armor and stuff because we don't want to be making any noise. Everything but our boots, basically. There's a very, very nice sword up here in a chest. If I can get it. Hello. Nothing to see here. Might have to wait till night time. Before all of them are actually asleep and stuff. Because the chest is way upstairs and it's actually pretty risky to break into. There's a bunch of stuff down the lower floor, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till night time. Uh, tell you what, we'll just wait here. We'll, um... Just save in... Well, actually, I'll wait and I'll get a save in afterwards. Majority of them should be sleeping, though, at this hour. Only bandits creep around in the dark without a light. 
Where's your torch? Right here. Where's your torch? Okay, you got it back up, All right? It's fine. God, the night... I have to say, the nighttime in this game, like, it looks so good. And, like, the torchlight and stuff, the way the shadows look and, and everything, man, it... It really looks pretty impressive. You, uh... I think he left. All right then, let's get a save in. Merchant sword is pretty good. Oh great, the activate windows thing is back again. I guess that means it's time to take a break so I can restart. Hey, you've no business here. Oops. Clear off or you'll be sorry. Okay, go away dude, I wanna go upstairs. Hey. Is someone away. there? Yeah, I'm here. The torch. Go away. That guy's coming back too. Great. I need to go away so I can go loot your stuff from upstairs. Are you going to go away, dude, or are you just going to stand there? Just going to stand right there. It's going to be really annoying. Oh. Been on, are we? All right, let's go for the good one, then. Let's go upstairs and go for the good one. Go hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, if you don't clear off quick, it'll be the worst not for you. Okay, nothing. What's up? Do you need some help? It was definitely not over there. It was way easier previously. You gone yet? Are you still in the damn stairwell? Oh God, that's he's right. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh, what are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me to reckon with. Crap. You must be up to no good, sneaking around what in the dark. Light a torch before the catchpoles see hey, you. Who's there? I just want my sword, man. Here, sir. The best sword you can get before the end game. Let's go away, guys. Just turn a blind eye. Come on. In a chest up there. Yeah, I'm going to have to go slow on it. Keep waking him up. But he's still in here. We're good. I think we're good. Oh. Okay, never mind. Are you gone yet? Oh, okay. Stuck. Stuck. Door stuck. Why am I stuck? They're going to be like on to me now. They're going to know I've been stealing stuff and they're going to search me all the damn time. Going to have to like sell my sword and then buy it back. Have to launder it. Um, are you just going to stand there? Like forever? That's really highly, oh, there you go. 
highly inconvenient for me if you're just going to stand there forever. Come on, don't get stuck. Come on, Henry. Okay. Stuff, gotta do this quick. I think we got it. Make sure here. Here, sir. Here. Got a whole bunch of good stuff, actually. Um, maybe this is the wrong one, actually. A bunch of good weapons, though. I'm trying not to hit this guy. I walk past. He's not looking this way. Oh, there's Piercer. That's the one I want. That's the sword I want. Yeah. It up. He's all sell well though. Come on, get it. Show me the thing. Another piercer, nice. There's no way you could do this silently. You'd be like clattering stuff. You'd drop something and you'd be screwed. Right. Good shape though. I don't care too much about uh, the shields and stuff. But the sword I will take over here. Gotten that already. I think I did though. I think I already got it. Okay, that's fine. And then uh, over here, is there stuff here too? I think what I'll do is uh, I'll sell my stuff, Aaron Dosk. I'll sell it to the, the guy right there. Hmm. Yes, just go on your way, sir. Get stuck in the damn stairs. Oh, just we just can't crown here. Come on. Come on, dude. Stop stop being stuck. There. He's seen me. Oh, well, we're not in a private area anymore, so we can just pull the torch out and we'll be fine. Show me what you got concealed. Oh, uh, um, well, um. Um, yet. Um, hmm. We're gonna lose everything, aren't we? I have to reload to get this thing. It's a really nice weapon, though. Really, really quite nice. Why? Such are my orders. No, they're not. Um, can I bribe you? Whatever you're being paid, I'm sure I can make you a better offer. Oh, we can. Okay, yeah, sure. Just pay him the max amount to make sure. Off you go. Nice. Still good? Yeah, we're still good. Okay, let's just go back, I think. 
But I do have to go and restart to get rid of my Activate Windows piece of crap that's on there because Microsoft is dumb. Maybe they'll let me finally um, activate Windows now. Like, I'm supposed to be able to transfer it via my Microsoft account from my old computer to the new one. And it even, like, gets me to the last step where I'm sp it's supposed to work and then it just says, unknown error. For, like, no good reason. It just doesn't let me do it. It's so stupid. Yeah, we're just going to go back through, I think, and uh, go back. Are they are No, put the sword away. Put the sword away. Sword away. Thank you. There's a lot more to explore and steal around here, but yeah, this is good enough for now. That might be an absolute, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's supposed to be able to be transferable because it is like the retail version. It's the, It was the retail version of Windows 7. There we go. Retail version of Windows 7. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. I guess they're going to let me pass now. Yeah, I love how this game looks at night. At night. It looks so good. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to walk back very, very slowly back to my chest and drop all this stuff off. It is worth quite a bit, so yeah, I'll take it all back. A nice, casual, nighttime, slow-walking stroll. Rain again, huh? It rains, like, all the time. Which I guess that makes sense for the region. Church over here, maybe I can steal from here. Is there an offering chest anywhere? It is. Oh, I, have to, I can pay an indulgence. Oh, uh, no. That's, I'm not paying. I wanted to steal from it. What about up here? What does, uh, what does doing this do? I want to do it if I don't know what it does. If it, like, absolves me of my crimes or something, that'd be fine. Or gives me a better reputation, maybe? Probably gives me a better reputation. Yeah, this is why we need Olena, so I can actually go about stealing stuff, because otherwise it's going to be difficult. But, I mean, you know, we've gotten... We've gotten our, uh... Really nice sword. There's nothing better that I know of in the game, pretty much. No, don't drop it. Um... Besides this, because stabbing is what matters, really. It has good defense, has good stabbing, and it's a strength weapon, which is pretty easy to level up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the durability is low, but, you know, I've never had an issue keeping it sharp and good to go. So, um, the Warhammer is quite nice now. I, they, they add quite a bit of stuff into that chest up there. If I haven't seen before. If you guys know with the uh the axes and stuff like you you don't do you don't do like stab damage plus blunt damage do you or like slash damage plus blunt damage or or do you is that how it works I never understood how the blunt damage on those on the axes and stuff work because uh it doesn't really there's no blunt move you have like a stabbing move which makes sense and you have a slashing move which makes sense so does the blunt damage get added to both the slashing and the stabbing damage, or is it just its own thing? See, I've heard hammers are better too, but in practice, they've never been better. Uh, in practice, I've always done way better with a sword, 
But yeah, like I, that's what I've heard too, is that the hammers are the way to go. And in this case, man, this thing is great. Does if it's if that's true, then this does uh, seventy damage per hit with the stab plus the blunt. That's very very good. Although it has no defense, which means that you can't really parry. Which is the big thing with swords. Is it swords are great for uh, doing a, a repost, and repost do massive massive damage if you can get them off properly. And I'm I'm pretty good at them. You have to train to get that up though. But you have Aaron Dosk. Okay. Um, have you tried specifically stabbing them, like, in the face with a, a stabbing sword? Because when I slash armored enemies, they don't they don't really take any damage. But when I, when I stab them, they go down pretty quick. Oh, they buffed hammers. That's probably why, then. That's probably why, Aaron Dosk. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, then. I was really disappointed that there wasn't more variety in the game. Um, so maybe I'll go hammers, and maybe I'll go hammer and shield on this character, even though it's a bit less flashy. I guess there's no reason to limit myself. I can always keep a sword and a hammer and a shield as well, and just use whatever is most appropriate for the situation. That was always my go-to strategy, yeah, it was just, like, stab him in the face. I never tried slashing much. Because, yeah, you're right, never seem to do that much damage to him. God, this is such a slow-ass walk. It's going to take forever. So, guys, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take a little break and get some food and stuff. And uh, then I'll probably, be, uh, I'll probably be back later. I don't want to say I will be back later, but I'll probably be back later for some more streaming. Maybe over on YouTube this time. Um, since I'm not really seeing any traffic coming over from the Chrono.gg website. I don't think they're actually hosting me there. Not sure why. Yeah, longsword for sure is is, uh, and that's what that the piercer is, right? It's a longsword, long stabbing sword. Yeah, it's a longsword. Yeah, that stabbing damage. The defense is really good. Like if you you deflect with the you know a, a parry, you take no damage, and then you can. You can do the repost and you just you just destroy them. The reposts do at least previously repost did like uh one or two shot on most enemies. It was crazy. Be miserable sleeping out on the hay with no shoes. Your feet would get so cold, man. I'll try it, Aaron Dosk. I did, I did um, go live on YouTube for a bit, hoping that people would see I was live there. And then when people came over, I said, hey, okay, we're going to Twitch now. And, uh, but yeah, I, I know like a lot of times only a very, very small percentage of people actually get informed that I'm streaming on YouTube even, so... Yeah, I'm going to look into why I'm not being featured on the uh, Chrono.gg website as well. Because I have a friend who's doing it, and he has like 300 viewers right now because he's on their website. But I'm not for some reason, so that would be nice, you know? Anyways, guys, I'm going to walk my butt slowly back down here, drop stuff off, and then probably go get some food. And uh, I will see you in like an hour or an hour and a half or so. Once I've done some stuff and gotten some food, I got to do laundry and stuff too. Get that started is uh, Sunday after all, but I will likely be back later. So see you in a little bit.